Unlike last year, there was no grand standoff after New Zealand had performed the haka. But Wales had not come to stand on ceremony, though, and piled into their visitors with gusto from the kickoff. And the All Blacks are 10 metres out from their own 22. Rival first fives Dan Carter and Stephen Jones kicked two penalties apiece in the opening half. And despite being level six all at the break, the All Blacks always looked stronger. It was a, a good, tough battle that first half. You know, they came out with a lot of passion, and I, I felt we matched it really well. Um, and we felt if we could just, you know, keep getting on top, hold the ball, then um, maybe they'd tie it later in the game. New Zealand restarted with ominous intent. And Carter stepping up to continue his 100% record. 56 minutes, the All Blacks finally broke through. The All Blacks looking good here. They're only five metres short of the line. They're looking for the first try of the day, and I think that's over the line. It is. Now, let's see who comes up with it. Andrew Hoare it is. Now, with a 10-point gap to shield the New Zealand surge forward, and Wales had to endure two nail-biting TMO decisions in quick succession. Might have been Shane Williams got his hands in there, is it, in his boat? Blacks think they might have got there again by the looks of things. We'll have a time, Matt. Yeah, thanks. No try. Yeah, I snuck over it, obviously, no one can see that, but uh, I don't want to be greedy and walk away with a win, I'm pretty heavy man. I think if we'd put it over the chalk then, uh, it would have made it a bit easier in the coaching box anyway. New Zealand still forced a penalty and Carter took his afternoon's tally to 14 points with a quarter hour remaining. Stephen Jones reduced the deficit with a long-range penalty before Carter became public enemy number one in Cardiff. Oh, big tackle for Dan Carter, blindsided him. Maybe a touch high. An effective tackle, all the same. <laughs> Not often that Dan Carter gets booed. Really disappointed that the referee and the officials missed the high tackle on Martin Roberts because, you know, I feel if that had been at the other end, it you know, would have been um, three points and a yellow card. So it was a big moment in the game for, for the officials to miss. Wales rival Stephen Jones was immaculate with the boot, but Wales still needed something spectacular if they were to threaten a win. Gives it back to Carter. He looked about halfway as if he could do it. I just thought to myself, you know, I'm not starting my first test match and I'm losing it, so I was never going to let him get away. Wells again fell agonisingly short and will have to wait another year. If you had looked at this performance in the past, they would have been pretty happy with that, you know, losing the All Blacks by, was it, seven points or whatever it was, and, uh, you know, only conceding one try and, and being in the game at half time, they've been slapping each other on the back. The guys on the train were really disappointed. There. And uh, that's the way you want it to be. We can at the stage now where we can compete for 18 minutes with the best teams in the world, and that's what we're trying to do, you know. We're, but it just wasn't meant to be, was it? While the All Blacks head to Milan to face Italy.